Uh, this is just a short little video to show you how to use uh, Brush Ninja. So I just want to show you what those look like first. And you have the different slides here. Uh, 10 different slides here. It's a one of 10, right? So the frames, I guess frames is we'll put a name for it. And so you can click play and actually show the preview of this. I just drew my name, just something super simple, the introduction to it. Okay. So the way you go about it is you're going to go back to Canvas homepage, right? And I'm going to go to my my to-do list. It's under the, oh, it's on the to-do list. Yeah. Anyway, so I've got modules here. Then um, we're going to go down. We're doing animation now, so we're going to go down to animation. And now this is the Brush Ninja intro. It's under the GIF, right? You can click on that. And it'll bring to that assignment there. The reason is we have already submitted it, basically. Um, so it says today we'll create an animation using Brush Ninja. So this is the link to the uh, website. So you're going to make your own or illustrate some other story you've going to uh, you've I've heard about it before, maybe just others like nursery rhyme or something like that. You know, basically just any kind of story. But you're only using ten frames, so it can be something super simple. But that's a requirement because it has to have ten well, it says slides or ten frames, and you must turn a GIF file. Uh, and I'm gonna actually upload this uh, video right here. Okay, so I'm going back to uh, Brush Ninja. So I can click on that that long link there, and it'll open up Brush Ninja. So I've already have this one, but I'm going to start a new one to show you what it is from the beginning. So I'm going to go up here to new. It's going to actually delete all those frames I have below. So I can start with it. And I'm just going to show you what I did before as the process I did before. Um, I just actually made it. I created a frame. Actually, start with a blank frame, and then I just add a new one. So then I can start with drawing one letter here. And then I just copy that and go to the next frame so h yeah and then i copy that and then so forth you know and again i'm like doing three letters here but i can show you now i have like the three letters here i do one of four frames so i'm gonna click play and it's got that so whenever you finish it when you finish the all 10 frames whatever that is you want to go up to export here export and you want to give your animation name like maybe like just name or something like that you know but you're going to export it as it may export as an animated gif and you're going to download that animated gif it's going to download it to your downloads folder okay you can see there it's uh, downloaded here and what i'll do is i can go back to my canvas assignment and maybe new attempt and then i'll upload click upload file choose my file and I'll go down to this is my downloads. It looks different on your uh, computer because you have Chromebooks, right? But you would actually download that and find that just name. So whatever you named it, like I just named it name. So therefore, it's just my three letters here. And uh, then you click open. So you can click submit assignment. And that will pretty much finish that you finished it. Okay.